There's more <laughs> rain coming. There's more rain coming to that road in Marin. There's more rain coming Bay Area wide. And it, we've been having a nice break. I think so many of us have been getting into like spring frame of mind that this is going to be like doing a 180. So I'm just going to jump right ahead to tomorrow to show you when the rain gets here. You see the timestamp up there. We're looking at tomorrow morning. That's the leading edge of it. So this starts to work its way through the North Bay here. We're looking at about one in the afternoon. It's still hung up in the North Bay. So you're going to get your rain through Santa Rosa and Petaluma starting like late morning and going into the early afternoon. But this means for most of us, like from the Golden Gate South, it doesn't start raining until we get into like the two o'clock, three o'clock hour. So we're going to come back to this in one second. I'm going to show you the progression of the rain. But let me show you what the temperatures are still going to do for one more day, because that's another side of the story. We've been doing 70 degrees for daytime highs in the South Bay for a little while. You're still going to do that tomorrow because that rain's not getting to you until we get to like probably three or four o'clock down there. You get a 70 degree day. But the farther north you go, you'll notice this cool down really begins tomorrow. And by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, nobody is getting out of the low 60s from that cold front that's coming through. Speaking of which, let's bring that back up and take a look at the progression of how that system's gonna go. So we left it in the North Bay at one o'clock, it's down to the Golden Gate as we get into the early afternoon. And now just as we get into the evening commute, that line is gonna start working its way across like the greatest population centers. So 280, 101, 580, 80, 680, you're all gonna get it through the evening commute tomorrow. It's not heavy downpours with this, but it is gonna be enough rain that the streets are gonna get slick. And that takes us through tomorrow night. We need to think of that as just phase one because there's still two more days of rain to go. And uh, once we get into Saturday and Sunday, things get a little more interesting, particularly second half of the day on Saturday. Take a look at the time frame here. That gets us towards Saturday afternoon. Watch this complex. It's not the organized line anymore. We're past that phase of the storm. Instead, you kind of get these on again, off again, hit and miss showers and occasional thunderstorms. And then yes, as we get towards late Saturday, another line comes through, more rain, and that sets us up for more isolated showers and occasional thunderstorms behind that one. So as we go into Sunday, now we're looking at the leftovers. There shouldn't be as much rain on Sunday, but you can see the possibility is still there. If we look at the rainfall totals, we're gonna get about an inch. But that's spread out over three days. So that's totally manageable rain over three days. It's not a flooding concern, but it certainly is a rewiring. Rain's coming back. We're not done with this yet. There are more storms coming after this one. But one of the more important aspects of this in terms of raising the awareness level on this system comes in these next two maps. The Storm Prediction Center has included the Bay Area on Friday and Saturday. Watch what happens on Saturday. It's even a little more widespread. They've included us in a chance for thunderstorms. And that's what really makes this system a little more notable. We've done that a lot so far this season. These systems have been able to come through with enough energy that isolated scattered thunderstorms have been part of the pattern. And we're going to do that particularly right through here on Saturday and Sunday. We are going to get a little bit of a break Monday and Tuesday. But then as we get to Wednesday, you can see what shows up there at the end of the seven-day forecast. There's another system coming our way. We'll have uh, more on that one for Wednesday's chance of rain as we get closer to it for now.